far we learned on uh, how to create uh, uh, the asset for a, a asset under construction so in this video i would like to show you on how to create um, um, uh, sorry uh, in our previous sessions uh, we created asset under construction and also we posted acquisitions to the asset under construction so now i would like to show you the asset under construction posting invoice posting or we have done using the PO or uh, using a direct fi posting so here you can see this is a 5000 posted to this asset and uh, two which is a uh, 15000 is posted to the the same uh, different asset so if you see the acquisition posting is this which is a uh, directly done to this asset so now actually you want to capitalize this so once this asset under construction is completed at a later stage um, you are going to capitalize so you are not depreciating um, when you are really um, incurring the expenses which needs to be capitalized you will accumulate these expenses or 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 and the cost whatever you are paying for this once this asset is ready for utilizing or generating the revenue then you will capitalize until then it should be shown as a asset under construction so now you can see here so how to do that so to do that you need to go to the asset account uh, sorry uh, accounting financial accounting fixed assets posting and then go to the capitalize asset under construction click on distribute so here you can see um, you need to enter company code asset this asset is actually the asset under construction so the asset I am using is this so click on execute so you can see now it's showing green because I already maintain change so here <clears throat> so what happens I mean, this is actually I already maintained so FXA which is a category you need to maintain here so whether you want to allocate to the asset or a cost center so I want to allocate this to the 100% asset the asset is actually um, my if you see sorry I need to enter company code 2800 so you can see here <clears throat> so I'm using the asset is uh, 1000 which is my and test which is under buildings and so I'm using this asset as a, maybe yeah we can use either this or this so I'm going to use is uh, 1002 let's say yeah so I want to do 100% to this asset so I don't want to left behind anything or I you can do a 50% or you can do 30% or you can enter here the specific amount whenever you want to you don't want to you don't know how much it is so you can enter the amount here so let's say you know the percentage so you just maintain the percentage here so this then the system is capable of calculating based on what you have uh, maintained so don't maintain both at the same time you need to um, enter either percentage or amount so that's my recommendation so here um, once you maintained then go back so here uh, previously it should show the red red when you initially without doing any um, you know allocation uh, profile here so then now the system will turn this to a green so if you see there is a small uh, is a signal button so which will show here is uh, sorry I just uh, use a wrong 
that here so here is where you can see the status so initially before you maintain the system will show is red so after you maintain everything it should show green that means the allocation profile is set for this asset so it can be used for the settlement so click save so distribution rule you can see the message came here is the distribution rule is saved so now you can go back do you want to leave this line item yes so now you need to go to the setup so here you have two things I would like to tell you here so let's say if you go to this T code so let's say and um, I'm going here and uh, doing the uh, I want do I need to go to the different transaction of this to do the settlement or you can do it in this itself so you can see this transaction is AIBU this transaction is sorry AIAB this transaction is AIBU so let's say you have gone to this so you maintained already everything so now you select this line settle so now if you see this here you see what happens the system automatically routing to a different transaction here when you click on a different button so you don't need to go to the a different screen and change back to the different you know um, uh, uh, to, to, to come back to the screen so uh, there, there there is various reasons why the SAP setup is like this because some uh, some big organizations they do uh, one person is doing and um, setting the distribution rule another one is executing it so that's uh, executing that settlement to capitalize and the month end so this is how it is done so now this is how um, we can do the settlement so this is part of uh, um, whenever is a month end they do the settlement of each month before running the depreciation yeah now in the next session i am going to show you on how to settle the asset to the capitalized fixed asset thank you guys